Hi, this is Jackie Murray with the um, Ask a Tech Teacher. I am your guide through these 32 lessons of the Structured Learning Technology Curriculum. We're in second grade and this is lesson 21. This is the second of four drawings students will do for their open house slideshow. These are themed, so you've picked a theme that uh, the, the four drawings will follow. It might be a story, once upon a time there was, um, she lived in a yada, she lost her dog and had to find it and searched all over and the closing, the fourth one, she found her dog and they lived happily ever after. So four, that's all they get. It has to introduce plot, character, setting, and climax and closing. So it has to have all of those pieces, whatever the pieces that you teach as part of their literacy is what you include in here, their storytelling. So they're going to have those in these four drawings. Now this is obviously setting. This is where I live. So we're doing the setting. It's going to revolve around their house. They had a dog who lived in the house with them and that's our setting. Another dog's their other character. So this is, this is that piece of the story. Or, or you can have your own four drawings. As long as they're themed together and they tell a story, you're fine. Okay, nothing new here because they're using skills they already know. If you have a tool that allows them to build houses using building tools, then they've already done this in kindergarten and first grade. If you if you have one, they're, they're creating a shape of a house, drawing it in or filling it in. They've done that already in kindergarten and first grade. So whichever it is, they know how to do this. You want them to pull those memories and be able to do that with minimal guidance. One to two sentences. Now if they're struggling to remember how to do things, they'll probably do one sentence. If they got that, no big deal. They're going to do two or three. So here's examples of, you might use one of these, Kid Picks Paint, Tux Paint. You might use one of these if you're a Chromebook school. You might use one of these if you're an iPad school. Doesn't matter. They're all about drawing and text, mixing your media, and then save, publish, share. Um, don't print because we don't want these going home to parents. We want the parents surprised and having a reason to come to your end of year slideshow. I don't think there's anything exceptional here. Practice warm up with their keyboarding. Open their drawing tool. They know what to do. They, um, you might remind them of some of the writing pieces they're thinking about, elaborate on an event, add detail, add temporal words, those types of things. Taken right from your literacy lessons in the classroom. These are from Common Core. So if you're a Common Core school, these will fit in fine for second grade. If you're not a Common Core school, you'll have something similar to that in your school that you can use. Here's examples of what they might look like in different tools. Really nothing extraordinary. These two are drawn. This one is using a picture. You might bring up, have the students bring a picture of their house. Use that in your drawing program and then put text over it. And that's really about it. The, their exit ticket is going to be the students check each other's work to make sure it's saved correctly in the digital portfolio. So everyone's ready when the end of your slideshow starts. I don't think there's anything else in the here. What did I have here drawing their picture? I don't think so. Here's a couple options though. Instead of your real house, draw your dream house. That's an idea. You could have the house talking. If you use chatter picks um, or pick collage, you could have the house talking about this is what I am and there's a dog who lives there with my mistress. Okay. If they finish early, they could also practice more keyboarding. Second grade, it's getting important. By third grade, you're going to start testing them on accuracy, if not speed. That's it, guys. All right. And let me know if you have questions. I'm happy to help you. Otherwise, have a great week. I'll see you in a week.